Hi everyone, welcome to our free CSS tutorial series. In this series, we will be learning all the basic and advanced techniques to use CSS. End of this series, you will be able to create responsive HTML pages with eye-catching page designs. So let's get started. To start learning CSS, you need to know the basics of HTML. If you already know, that's good. But if you don't, watch our quick HTML tutorial series before getting started. The link is in the description and info box here. So what is CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It is the language we use to style an HTML document. In short, it formats the layout of your web page and describe how HTML elements should be displayed. With CSS, you can control the color, font, the size of the text, the spacing between elements, how elements are positioned and laid out, what background images or background colors are to be used, different displays for different devices and screen sizes, and much more. The word cascading means that a style applied to a parent element will also apply to all children elements within the parent. So if you set the color of the body text to blue, all headings, paragraphs, and other text elements within the body will also get the same color. Here you can see the basic syntax of CSS. First, you will have your selector. Selector is nothing but the target element in your HTML document you want to style. And inside the declaration block, you will write the CSS property name and, it, and a value, separated by colon. Multiple CSS property declarations are separated with semicolon. When a browser reads a style sheet, it will format the HTML document according to the information in this style sheet. There are three ways of inserting a style sheet using inline CSS, using internal CSS, or by using external CSS files. So let's learn them one by one. First comes our inline CSS. Let's get started by writing some code. I have created a new folder named as CSS and created my HTML files inside it. You can find this code on your Git repository. The link is in the description. Now let's open this document in our Visual Studio Code Editor. As you can see, this is pretty basic HTML document. An inline style may be used to apply a unique style for a single element. To use inline styles, add the style attribute to the relevant element. And the style attribute can contain any CSS property. Like I have used properties like background color and text align for my body element. And also define different style for my H1 element, which is color red. Now let us see how it appears on your browser. Open the folder where you had saved the file and right click on it and open with Chrome. As you can see, it applied the background color gold to our entire HTML body. And for the heading, it applied the color red. One thing to notice, we did not apply text align center for the heading tag. But as we discussed, the child element will always use the same CSS of its parent element. As we had defined it in our body tag to align center, the H1 as a child is using its default CSS from its parent unless we specifically define it for, the, for this element. Next comes our internal CSS. As you can see, this is also a simple HTML file. But here, I had defined the style element block. And inside the style element block, I had written my CSS code. I had defined the CSS for my body and H1 tag in the same way as before. Now let us see how it applies the CSS on our browser. Perfect. It, it shows as we wanted. We use internal CSS to allow styling a single entire page. With this approach, we can better manage our CSS as we write all the CSS properties in a separate section, rather like inline CSS defining it in the same line and makes the code look clean and more readable for any developer. Now let us see what is external CSS. As you can see, this is also a simple HTML file, but here we had linked an external CSS file within the head element. You can name your CSS file the way you want, but with a .css extension. After you created the file, you can link it like this, using link and relation type of style sheet and in the href attribute defining the source to your CSS file, which we had created. Let's see how it appears on the browser. Perfect. It again shows as we wanted. But why do we use external CSS? We use external CSS files to manage the styling for our entire website. It is always a good practice to include the CSS file in the head element in your index.html file, where we can place all the common and global CSS styling, which are basically called as CSS templates. 
We can also link multiple CSS files in the similar way. But what happens if you give different CSS styling to the same element? And how does your browser prioritize the CSS written in different places? The browser always prioritizes the CSS written in the inline and it prioritizes the internal CSS which is written in the same file. And if nothing found, it finally it applies the CSS from the external CSS file which we had linked. Now you know the basics of CSS. For more core and advanced concepts in CSS, watch our further tutorials on CSS. Thank you.